This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this Armada. It is a 2011 Nissan Armada. Uh, it is an SL. It is a 5.6 liter V8, four wheel drive, has 126,228 miles. It was a Land Rover Jaguar of Reno, Nevada, new car dealer trade that we purchased from them. Uh, I love these things. We have never had a bad one. We've, <laughs> and, and ironically, aside from one they're all been silver um i like them and i like the qx80s same thing anyway um aside from a couple dents that we decided to leave in it um just to keep the price down this thing is fantastic um to fix the dents probably a thousand dollars would make it look fine but i don't know i think people are going to look for the people moving aspect and the you know entertainment system in it as the reason to buy it and they're not going to care so Anyway, we're going to leave it alone, all right? Anyway, uh, nothing wrong with this vehicle. The inspection, nothing. Um, we sent it to detail, and my job here is to walk around the vehicle. I'll point at things uh, cosmetically. Um, if I own this thing and I wanted to make it perfect, I would get a new rear bumper cover. I would I would get a new rear bumper cover, and I'd, I'd, I'd spray it, paint it. I'd fix that little dent behind here, this thing. That's about a... That's about a $300 dent, $150 bumper cover paint. This is probably cost about 700 bucks to make better. Um, then I would probably, while I'm there, I wouldn't even take this off. I would just paint the bumper cover again because it's got a bunch of touch-ups and stuff. I would just spray it on the car, 150 bucks. And then this. So it's got dent right here into here. And I would say, I would try to buy a used hood. I'll bet you could find a silver hood somewhere in the world and just bolt it on. There's a little bit of dent in the top of this fender too, but that would probably pop out from underneath if you wanted to. Like I said, this is this is a, a, a people mover. This is not, you know, meant for uh, perfection here with 126,000 miles. Um, tires, they're Michelins. So probably uh, the fronts look like they're about 60% tread. My job here in these videos is to make sure that whatever's wrong is is known. Anything that we know that's wrong, you're gonna know, okay? Um, that's job number one for me. Rear, rear Michelins, they're probably, front and rears are Michelins and they look like they're probably at least 50%, maybe up to 75% tread. Um, while I'm here, I will go through some paperwork with you. First of all, we like to give people an idea of what they're doing here, buying and how to do it. You can go to Car Gurus and push this thing in with the miles. So, East Coast version of this vehicle, 18,690 and uh, is a good deal um, with 127,000 miles. Here's another East Coast, 18,9. They say fair deal with 125,000 miles. Maybe different equipment in it, who knows? This thing's loaded up, so it can't be more equipment than this thing. Um, and then you've got an East Coast version. Fair deal, it says 15,000, okay? And it has 129,000 miles. So there's a big range here. Probably equipment is quite a bit less than that 14,000 mile one. But then here's the only West Coast that I could find that was a good comp. They say a great deal, 18,499 with 120,000 miles. All these, things we'll have a link to them in the in our ad you can click on this stuff and look at it yourself I encourage you to go to car gurus and get an idea though there's your uh, VIN uh, four-wheel drive 5.6 126,000 miles uh, one owner no accidents reported basically Carfax blends the Carfax and the Kelly together and they come up with a value of fifteen thousand seven hundred and forty dollars okay man no accidents one owner uh, no major title problems, which is good. This, like I said, this Kelly will be in the, in the ad also. But I like to run through it. Some people don't know how to read them as well. I've read millions of them. Uh, well, not millions, but tens of thousands, for sure. <laughs> uh, bu 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 so it's getting taken care of. It's going for dealer services. And then once they go out of warranty, then they start bringing them to their local repair shop. And they did, apparently it was Reno Vulcanizing, whatever that means in Reno and they kept 
really good services on it right up until they traded it in Carson City and there you go it ends up a Jaguar Land Rover of Reno Nevada okay all right so put that stuff there all right you have uh, electric third row seat they go all the way forward and all the way back using these little buttons right here okay I did not. There he is. All right. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do all the switches first. Okay. First of all, nice to have two remotes, right? Let me do this first. Locked. Unlocked, right? You have to get in the car. I'll put the keys in the cup holder. There you go. All right, so we have 126,235 miles. We'll start with, let's see, hood release. Just look under the hood real quick. I love that motor. Five sixes are awesome. I don't think I ever even had a, even a minor problem with a 7.6 motor. Here's the stickers when they go on the hood. <coughs> There's your door locks. There you go. Okay, seat back forward, back, whole seat forward, whole seat back. Passenger seat doesn't go up and down, only driver's seat on this one. Boom. It's a nice rig. This one does have an entertainment system. All right. So if you want the whole seat to go forward, what you do is you go like this. You pull this seat up like this and then you go like that okay that's how that works all right i gotta have my other hand free to put it back up uh we've got the uh diary of a wimpy kid is fired up here right that movie is hysterical my kids were little they loved that thing <laughs> i didn't i'm not i'm not a childish well, kind i am uh, let's see air conditioning in the back. You got the controls back here for the air do, do, do. I don't know. There's a volume There you go all right Window 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 Mirror out, in, up, and down. Switch it over. Out, in, up, and down. Seat forward, seat back, seat up, seat down. Rear tilt forward and real rear back. Got uh, tilt wheel, there's that. Adjustable pedals, that's up and that's down. All right. Let's hop in this guy. Get a seatbelt on here. Wish I had three arms. All right, a seatbelt on. And it's freezing in here. The AC is working great. Let me turn that down. All right, let's see. So, right now that's Dyer the Wimpy Kid. You saw that back there, right? It's a butt. Then you go to radio. And our newest, most exclusive plan. Bye. Steering controls. Station changes. Blah, blah, blah. All that stuff from here. Right? Let's see. What else we got going on here? Oh, moonroof. Very important. There's your moonroof. Open. 
and closed. That one's moving fast, which means they didn't use it very much. All right. Hear the air come on back there? Now it's off. There you go. Uh, let's see, what else? Tow mode. There's VDC off and on. Let's see, what else we got going on here? Oh, in the center co console, we've got remotes. We've got remotes. We have two sets of headrests, uh, <laughs> headphones. Um, this is where your DVD goes. CD goes in here, DVD goes in here, okay? Even though we don't really have any uh, CDs anymore these days, right? Um, what else? I think that's about it in here. All right, let me put it into neutral. We're gonna go to four wheel drive, push. You gotta push it in and now it's to low. Now we're in four low, VDC goes off. That's drive, this is in definitely in granny gear. That's in four low. See where it says four low right here? There's your backup light, or backup camera. And there's your warning. All right, now we're gonna go push. Now we're going to four high, four low goes away. Go drive and reverse. That's in four high, perfect. Now we go to neutral, we're gonna push it back and we're gonna go to two wheel drive and we're gonna go for ride. All right, uh, let's, try, let's try the windshield wipers, there you go. All right, if you come to Tucson to drive this rig home, you got a nice car to drive home. Sweet ride, actually. Um, You'll pay the following. You'll pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're going to pay is agreed upon price, and that's it. No tax, no dock fee, nothing. Once we receive full payment, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will scan that. We'll sign it off to you. Then we'll scan it in your online file, and we will mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in. So everything's very transparent. You know, the Carfax, the uh, Car Gurus comps that we come up with, uh, everything we know, you know, okay? Uh, this uh, 17 minute and 38 vi second video, nothing that we know, you won't know. Everything, you, <laughs> everything we know, you're gonna know, okay? Um, including uh, being able to see the paperwork immediately. Uh, obviously, once we mail it to you, you're gonna have the vehicle shipped. Uh, you're responsible for getting it shipped. However, if you need help, let me know. I can do it for you. Um, we can uh, put the uh, price of the shipping into the price of the vehicle, make it one 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 uh, amount, and I can handle it for you. If you want to do it yourself and you just need a phone number to call, we can provide some phone numbers. Um, you can do it yourself, or you're welcome to be Kyle, who's bought a dozen vehicles from us in San Diego. Kyle uh, has figured out how to buy a vehicle from us, pay for it and get it out of the yard almost before we know it's sold. <laughs> He's pretty good. And get it to San Diego like the same day. It's pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, it's not really that hard, but if you need our help, let us know, okay? Uh, la uh, deposit, deposit's $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. So once we have an agreed upon price, please get your deposit in. Uh, we don't want somebody coming in, you know, after we've negotiated and we've agreed on a price and then taking your armada because they got their deposit in. But that has happened. And lately, because our prices are so much lower than everyone else, it happens a lot. <laughs> so, and then we get yelled at and I don't want to get yelled at. It's the first first deposit in is the, is the winner, okay? Um, let's see, what else? Last part of every video, I say this and I say it every time. We don't have sales. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have... Uh, a lounge to hang out and play video games with the kids while your car is getting worked on or whatever or you're buying a car we don't have any of that crap which keeps our uh uh cost down we will give you much of that free uh cost cost free uh amount in the price of the car we don't need to make a ton of money there's two of us our rent is a dollar a year uh, family owns this property. It's a dollar a year rent. Uh, it's not fancy. It's just me and my brother, and this is what we do. Okay, uh, we're not trying to get rich off of a car deal. Okay, uh, so that's what we do. Now, what I think uh, uh, happens in other, what I know happens at other dealerships is when they sell you a vehicle, they um, they. Uh, 
know that they charged you a lot of money for a vehicle and they know that uh, uh, when you drive the vehicle and something breaks you're gonna get pissed because you paid way too much money for the vehicle in the first place and you're gonna want it fixed well they charge you five to seven hundred dollars every time you buy a car for future repairs at the auto mall used car dealerships that's what they do because they know you're gonna come in and they know they don't want to pay for it with their money whatever's wrong so they charge you five to seven hundred dollars more when you buy the car okay so uh, we don't do that. We don't charge you for future repairs because we expect, with all the information you have about the, from this uh, in, in in this ad, from the video to the car facts to the car gurus to the uh, photos, that you can make a good decision and realize that you're saving a pound of money, and that some of that money will have to go into a repair sooner or later. And if it's sooner as the day you buy it, so be it. Okay, um, that's how we keep the price down. If you want to pay us two thousand dollars more, then we'll tell you that we'll write you a check, you know, for repairs that are reasonable, up to two thousand dollars. So, <laughs> just add two thousand dollars to whatever the price is and what we're in. That's stupid, right? <laughs> uh, I would rather have you have the money and uh, drive this nice car, and uh, you know, don't put it into a lake and don't crash it and change the oil once in a while and uh, air filter once in a while, general maintenance, this thing will go forever. I've seen plenty of them with 250,000 miles on them that are you would never know, all right? So anyway, I think that's about it. Um, I'm actually on my way to motor vehicles right now. I need a nice car to drive. I gotta go get a title for a vehicle of a F-150 we just sold. And so I thought, eh, I'll just make that part of my video. We'll just go down I-10 here. So that's what I did. Anyway, um, not much time left on this video, so I'm just going to shut my mouth and uh, that's that. Anyway, we're just about out. Uh, thank you for your time.